the Chiba University Hospital. It is my pleasure to present our work entitled Residual Polyp After Course Near Polypectomy for Small Colorectal Adenomas, a Prospective Clinical Trial, which has been accepted for publication. In this study, colon polyps less than 9 mm in diameter were prospectively evaluated using a magnifying colonoscope with narrowband imaging, and morphological non-carcinomatous regions were resected via cold near polypectomy (CSP). Immediately after resection, marking clips were placed around the area of the resected ulcers. Subsequently, three weeks after CSP. Post CSP scores were examined morphologically and pathologically using biopsy specimens. For adenomas, 91.9% post CSP scores were identified, and the residual adenoma rate following CSP for colorectal adenomas less than 9 mm in diameter was 0.98%. Thank you for coming, Dr. Maroka. I'd like to ask you. Why you did this study? Well, some studies have shown the efficacy of CSP for complete removal of colorectal adenomas, as indicated by ulcer resection. Additional biopsy obtained from the base and edges of the ulcers, or by additional EMR performed at the CSP site immediately after CSP. However, no studies have reported the rate of residual polyps by follow-up colonoscopy. Therefore, we aim to investigate the presence of pathological residual adenoma three weeks after CSP for diminutive and small colorectal adenomas. I see. Then, as a result, the residual adenoma rate was 0.98 percent. Is that correct? Certainly, that's right. Last, but far from least. What are the next steps? CSP for diminutive and small colorectal adenomas is effective therapy, in fact. However, I think there is potential for improvement. Currently, we are conducting another study looking at altered CSP for colorectal polyps. Really? I look forward to seeing the result of that study. In the meantime. It was good talking with you. Same here. Thank you for your attention.